Ooh, it's hot one. Welcome back, guys. I thought I'd give you a quick update on our apple and pear orchard. Uh, we just have four, uh, four pears and then uh, 12 apples. One died uh, and a few others are struggling. Uh, we did a few things wrong. Not wrong. We just didn't uh, maintain them as well as we should have. And so I thought I'd give you a quick update. So we um, didn't get out here early in the spring and um, prune, nor did we uh, make sure we weeded around the trees. And as a result, as you see, uh, we had cages full of grass and weeds. And so certainly uh, competing for the nutrients for those um, apple and pear trees. I did fertilize them uh, a little bit uh, uh, when they were starting to green up right after the last frost. Um, and a few of them are looking pretty good, but uh, we, we just needed to prune. And more importantly, uh, mow and weed around them. So as you see, we've got, we got grass a couple of feet tall in each of the cages. And so I'm going through the process of opening the cages. Uh, I've mowed around them and uh, now I'll mow in between and, and weed eat a little bit. Uh, make sure that the big weeds get pulled out completely. And then we do have some uh, some dead limbs that I'll trim off, uh, which obviously I should have done a couple of months ago. And then also just some uh, some suckers growing at the bottom that I'll, um, I'll trim as well. So ideally we would have done this uh, right after, um, right, you know, dormancy winter time, but just didn't get around to it. Um, there's a lot of a lot to take care of with uh, with the uh, chestnut orchard and food plots and everything else. So anyway, so we've got a couple of uh, the trees are looking pretty good and have some apples on them. So we're excited about that. Mostly gala, uh, but we also have um, some of the red delicious that uh, uh, were more stressed last year. We lost one, uh, and a few of them. Uh, we've got some dead limbs, and I've got to trim those off. So just gonna take care of them today and tidy it up, make it look a little bit better. And uh, hopefully it, uh, it provides a little bit of health for these trees. I'll keep the cages on it for a couple more years probably. Um, and hopefully next spring we'll just be, be better about getting out here early and working on them. I did get out to the chestnut orchard, mowed around it and they've got a little bit more to do, but chestnut orchard's looking pretty good. And so, uh, anyway, we've got a few apples uh, that we'll let grow. Uh, other than that, we're just going to hope these trees, pears, and apples continue to grow and flourish. Um, hopefully start flourishing so that we have more food for us and the critters that are around here. I went ahead and trimmed around them all. It's about 95 degrees, so I need to finish. And so I'll cut these couple guys off. They're growing low. Should have done that earlier. So I've got ground cloth. It just, everything grew up through it. And then I'll probably keep these couple apples maybe for this year. I think it's got about four. But I really don't want any of these little branches here. In any event, all right, apple tree's about done. Time for the pears. Woo. Okay, getting too hot out here for me. So here's the four pear trees. And this is what they're looking like. So they actually look pretty good, except for they're growing some down here. So I need to trim these guys off. Trying to get the lower ones. Yeah, we'll get this guy too. Why, but the bottom of that tree looks black. Rain last night, but hmm. okay. So that's the update from the small apple and pear orchard. Got a bunch of the trees that have apples on it, like this little guy right there, and um, but not many. So got a ways to go, but happy to get it tidied up. So that they're as healthy as they can be. Thanks for following along, guys. Keep on getting out and doing what you love. See you next time.